So in looking at the changes to the meta in Season 3, I think the number one thing you have to consider is the huge effect that crowd control is now having on the game. You saw a nerf to purification beads at the beginning of Season 3. It now has a two-minute cooldown, so gods like Ares and Fenrir are starting to seem a lot stronger now because of their heavy CC abilities. And so uh, the biggest thing to, to note in Season 3 right now in this meta is that CC is king. It's, it's more powerful than ever, and if you don't have CC on your team, you're probably not going to do as well as a team with heavy CC. So, as you start playing in Season 3, just keep in mind that crowd control is one of the most important stats right now. Um, and to always keep in mind when you're using beads and when your beads are on cooldown, because that is one of the most important things. And the second most important thing that I think people should take note of in the Season 3 meta as it stands right now is that solo laners are OP. Gods like Amaterasu, Ravana, uh, Osiris, and some other tanky warriors are just performing really, really well right now. A lot of it has to do with the fact that there's too much farm on the solo lane side of the jungle. There's two boar camps, two mana camps, there's the fire elementals, so a lot of warriors are picking up a little bit extra farm compared to their team. You're seeing them get higher levels a lot faster than not only the rest of their teammates, but the people on the enemy team as well. So if you're playing against a warrior, just keep that in mind that they're probably going to be a you know, level, maybe a couple levels ahead of you, and try not to focus on them too much. And uh, you know, try to control them early game if you can, because they're going to be pretty strong in the current meta as it stands. And uh, it's also pretty tough when you're facing a Ravana or Amaterasu, especially if you're a squishy mage. So um, the, this this part of the meta means that mages are not going to be doing well in solo lane. So just keep that in mind if you're if you're going to be playing solo, um, and then just just make sure you're careful late game. And the third thing I think that's important to note about the new meta in season three is that tanks are going to be a little less tanky this is a general change that happened to some of the tank items at the beginning of season three in season two you were able to buy a lot of items that included both health and protections and now in season three they changed a lot of the items to be either one or the other so tank builds are going to have to be a mix between health and protections you're not going to get everything you want in tank builds and so if you're a high damaging assassin or adc or even a mage you might be able to look to pluck off those support players a little bit more often in the team fights. And on the other side, if you are a support player, just be a little bit more careful. You might have to position yourself a little bit differently at some times and maybe not be as aggressive as you used to be. And again, this is all because uh, builds are changing, the items are different now, and um, you know it, it really all has to do with, with how high res is kind of looking to change the role of supports. Uh, in team fights, so that they're not absolutely controlling the other team. So um, that, to me, is the third most important thing in, to, to note about the the current meta. And of course, at number four, I had to mention that mages are doing a lot more damage in season three compared to what they were doing in past seasons. This is due to some of the new items, particularly Doom Orb. Doom Orb is he being heavily used in the meta right now. There aren't many mage builds out there that don't have Doom Orb in it, so if you're a mid player and you're not using Doom Orb, you should probably incorporate it into your build uh, somehow. And it's good to get that item off early so you can get those stacks and get a lot of early game damage. If you are playing against a mage, uh, either in the mid lane or in team fights, you might want to build a little bit of magic protection if you can, and just be careful of their the heavy burst damages, so like Poseidon and Zeus and Scylla. Um, just be careful of that 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 damage. And um, a big item to, to help protect you from this kind of damage is Bulwark of Hope that's being used on a lot of tanks and solo laners right now. So you might want to pick that up if you are I'm a little nervous about the damage that these mages are being are putting out there. Um, but other than that, in team fights, just know how to position, know when a mage is about to use their ultimate or one of their high damaging abilities, and then try to focus them. If you're a jungler, try to gank mid lane early and as much as possible so you can try to delay the enemy mage's builds um, because you do not want them to be getting late game and doing a lot of damage. Um, so that is my number four pick for what you need to know in the Season 3 meta. 
And finally, the last thing that you need to know about the Season 3 meta is that jungle camps are a lot easier to steal. And you might have noticed that they changed the jungle a lot in the beginning of Season 3. A lot of the jungle camps now are have more space, there's some openings so that you can invade them. Uh, the, the camps that are in the corner are now a little bit easier to access as well. And I think this is to allow for maybe some more early game invades. I think once the Smite Pro League starts up, you're going to see some invades. Uh, the, the Gold Fury and the Fire Giant, they didn't really change much, much, so they're pretty much the same. But in general, there's a lot more room in the jungle now. I think it's a lot easier to have team fights. There are these big openings uh, for team fights in the game, whereas before, there were a lot more narrow passages. It made the jungle a little bit crowded, and honestly, it made some abilities a lot easier to hit. Um, so I think the, the more open nature of it is going to allow for some more interesting team fights and uh, I, I think I'm, I'm really excited to see how the jungle will will pan out for the rest of the season. So that's it, that is my top 5 things that you need to know for the Season 3 Smite meta. Um, of course there are hundreds of other things that you need to know as well but this is just a quick general overview of some of the things that might be important for you to look into. So I thank you very very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.